Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ritika Gaba, your one and only PhD mentor and advisor. Prior to embarking my journey as a PhD mentor, I worked as a professor for 15 years in the higher education industry. As a teacher in the higher education industry, we were often advised to use case studies while teaching in the class. Now, case studies basically help the students to understand that how the theories that we teach them in class are actually used in the real world or in the corporate world. Thus, case studies were used to bridge a gap between the academia and the industry. The National Education Policy of 2020 wanted to bridge this gap between the industry and the academia even further. And therefore, they advised that the industry experts should be invited by the universities to teach. As a result of this suggestion, UGC last year in August 2022 released a set of new guidelines which were named as the Professor of Practice Guidelines. Under the concept of Professor of Practice, any industrialist, any person working in the corporate area in the business world who has more than 15 years of experience and is currently working at a senior level can join a university directly as a professor without any special qualification like a PhD or a UGC net and they can teach for a certain period of time or for a fixed tenure. Now, when these guidelines were released last year, then we had released a detailed video on this. We had explained in this video what exactly does professor practice mean? What is the eligibility criteria? Where can you apply? How can you apply? What would be the remuneration associated with it? What would be the tenure and so on and so forth. In case you haven't already watched this video of ours, we are giving you the link of the same in the i above and in the description box below do have a look to completely understand the concept of professor of practice why am i discussing once again about professor of practice in this video the reason why i'm making this video is because ugc has recently launched a portal dedicated to professor of practice now, after the release of our first video, there were many people who uh, had approached me and asked me that is there a simplified way to find a vacancy related to professor of practice? Because going on individual university websites and checking vacancy was actually a very cumbersome task. And indeed it was. So here UGC has come up with a great solution both for POP aspirants, that is industry experts willing to apply as a professor of practice and the universities looking for such experts. In this single portal, UGC has given the option where all the people aspiring to become POPs can upload their profiles and these profiles can be accessed by the universities. On the other hand, the universities can also upload the vacancies in their universities related to POP, which can be seen and applied by the POP aspirants. Now, further in this video, I'm going to give you a detailed description of how you can register on the POP portal and apply as a POP expert. So stay tuned with me to understand this in great detail. Now, prior to explaining you in detail how to register on this website, let me first read out a quotation by Professor M. Jagadesh Kumar, the Honorable Chairman of UGC at the launch of this portal. He says, our country has a huge pool of experts coming from different professions. Even as the UGC has issued the guidelines for the POP scheme, there is no common platform where experts can register themselves and universities can identify them. Therefore, to fill up this gap, the UGC has designed this POP portal. So now let us start to understand how you can register as an expert on this portal 
and what are the other options given on this portal which you can explore. So the very first thing which you would do, step one would be using the link below, go on this portal. When you would visit this portal, as you can see on the screen, you would see the logo of University Grants Commission, UGC. You would also see the title Professor of Practice in the middle and right below it, we have uh, two options, get started and guidelines. Now, these are the Professor of Practice guidelines released by UGC last year. These are the same guidelines which we had used to create our POP video prior to this one, the link of which is already shared with you. In case you do want to have a good look and read the guidelines yourself, you can download it from this link. However, in case you have a clear understanding of these guidelines, then on the right side of the screen, you would see there is a fourth option of registration, which is the step number two in this process. So you would go and register yourself for which you will require your email ID. Once you've registered yourself, you would be receiving an email from this portal in which your password and your login ID would be given. Using that, you would move on to the third step where you, win, you can log in. As you can see on the screen, you can either log in as a expert or you can log in as an HEI. HEI means that higher education institution. So obviously, since you are an expert, you will be logging in as an expert. You will need to create a new password. As soon as the process of logging in is done, you would be seen a, seeing a screen like this on your computer or on your phone. Through this screen, you will see that there is an option of creating your profile, which is the next step towards this process. You can create your profile. Under, while creating a profile, you will be required to mention details about your demographic details, your contact details, your qualifications. Besides this, they would also like to know that which kind of subjects you are ready to teach, which kind of institutions which you would like to teach, or if there is any specific institute that you are looking for, they would also be asking you details about the kind of honorarium you, are, you want to apply for. Now, what are these various kinds of honorarium we've detailed, explained in detail in our previous video. So once this process is done, you, your profile as an expert is created, then you just have to wait for an email from your desired institute. So this is the first advantage or the first thing that you can do on this portal. Now, there is a second very interesting thing which you can explore in this portal. When you come out, you will see on the right hand side extreme, there is an option of advertisement. Now, if you will click on this advertisement, you would see that all the universities which have put on vacancies of POP, the, these vacancies along with the details are listed under these advertisements. So you have a list of all the vacancies related to POP under one roof. Whichever vacancy you are interested in, you can get in touch with them. And that is how under the same roof, the details of all the experts who are interested to apply as POP can be availed. Whereas all the universities who want to hire POPs, their vacancies can also be seen. If you have any other questions related to POP, then please put them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and share our videos. And thank you so much for watching my video. Have a nice week ahead. Thank you so much.